Good afternoon, teachers. This is Lance Borges, and then, and today I'm going to present my study. Momordica charantia and Moringa Lefera powder as an alternative ripening agent to mag Magnifera indicalin. Mangifera indicalin, which is it is chemically ripened, and this Mangifera indicalin are in almost markets today. Hence, there are many health risks in eating these kinds of mangoes. This study significantly determines the effectiveness of pulverized Momordica charantia and Moringa lefera leaves as an alternative ripening agent to Mangifera indicalin. The purpose of this study was to formulate and discover an effective alternative ripening agent for Mangifera indicalin. Through this, mango production will be improved in just allotting small amount of money with the from the government, farmers, and fellow citizens. Statement of the problem. Does the availability of both Momordica charantia and Moringa elifera leaves sufficient to produce the powder? Is the powder from Momordica charantia and Moringa elifera leaves cheaper than the commercialized one? With the powder from Momordica charantia and Moringa elifera leaves active in ripening the Mangifera indicalin in two days' time? If so, what are the significant properties present in the powder from Momordica charantia and Moringa elifera leaves? The combination of Momordica charantia and Moringa lafera powder produces ethylene, a ripening hormone. Is there any significant difference between the ripened Mangifera indicalin with the powder from Momordica charantia and Moringa lafera leaves and without using the powder? Are there any differences between the spoilage of the Momordica Charantia and Moringa lafera leaves to the commercialized one. What would be the effect of the powder from Momordica Charantia and Moringa lafera leaves in terms of some features to the Carabao mangoes? Significance of the study. The concern of this study is our country's mango production, wherein it will be a great help to Filipino farmers, consumers, and manufacturers. The study aimed to formulate and discover an effective ripening agent for Carabao mangoes. Through this, mango production will be improved without disbursing large amounts of money. Furthermore, this study aims to produce an organic, environmental friendly, and, and inexpensive powder that can be used in ripening mangoes in a short period of time, thus helping millions of people in preventing health risks from chemically ripened mangoes. Scope and limitations. The study only focuses on the Moringa lefera leaves and Momordica charantia fruit. The powder produced is limited to Mangifera indicalin. The consumers, producers, and manufacturers may use this powder as a ripening agent. Review of related literature. Carabao mango. Sweeter as it tastes and very fresh as it looks. That is a Philippine carabao mango is. According to Creative Design Studio, it refers to the so-called Manila Super Mango which is the most famous variety in the Philippines. Ripening mangoes, storage of fruits, and fruit products have turned out to be a challenging problem. Thus, farmers, producers, exporters, and even consumers have a really hard time in ripening their mangoes. In fact, the mango industry has turned out to be the next big thing, especially in the Philippines. Ampalaya. 
the better, the better. As what the doctors and researchers defines the Ampalaya as the new generation cure for many ailments. Hence, Ampalaya is commonly grown and cultivated throughout the Philippines, and it is also abundant in many regions in Asia, East Africa, Caribbean, and South America. Furthermore, Ampalaya can never be mistaken for any other variety because its ribbed and wrinkled surface had always been its distinct physical feature. Malungay leaves, humble powerhouse of nutrients of which the people used it for both medicinal and culinary purposes. It was once considered a poor man's vegetables, but now it is known as a miracle tree or nature's medicine cabinet by scientists and healthcare workers from around the world because it is loaded with vitamins and minerals that can be effective remedy against many kinds of ailments. It is said that these plants are low maintenance, requiring little to no care. Despite of its legendary potentials, malungay is still re relatively unknown due to more benefits that can be obtained from it. Methodology. Malungay powder. Harvest Moringa Lefera pods, wash it, and separate the leaves from the stalk. Weigh it, then place leaves on, on a window or a net to air dry the leaves. Let it hang on the air place but not under the sun to prevent any discolor. After two to three days, depending on the weather, check the leaves if it's already crispy. Then, cook the leaves for about two minutes in a frying pan. Pound the leaves until it turns to powder. Ampalaya powder. Gather 1,000 grams of Morica charantia fruit. Wash and cut it into very thin slices. Remove the seeds and place it in a tray. Expose it under the sun and let it till it dries. After three to five days, depending on the weather, it must be brittle. Then pound or grind it for five to six times to produce a powdery substance. Materials. The materials used in this study were as follows. Momordica charantia fruit, Moringa lefera leaves, tray, mortar, and pesto. That is all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for that, Lance. Okay. Well done for your SIP, by the way. Now, let's proceed to the question and answer portion of our um, activity. Okay. Let's start with number one. What current problems did you observe that made you choose your research topic? Uh Cultivation and exportation of carabao mangoes is one of the products that the country is known of. With this, I want to help farmers and other um, uh, and other cultivators in finding an alternative ripening agent that is natural and free from any health hazards. Okay, that's great. Okay, now let's have number two. What was or what were the hypotheses of your research study? The hypothesis of the study are as follows. The pulverized uh, ampalaya and malungay leaves will not be able or effective in ripening the carabao mangoes. And the pulverized ampalaya and malungay leaves will be effective in ripening the carabao mangoes. Okay, so now let's talk about your methodology, okay? What methodology will you use to verify your hypothesis? Um, harvest Moringa Lefera leaves, wash it, then separate the leaves from the stalk. Weigh it, and then place the leaves on a window or a net to air dry the leaves. Let it hang on the 
airplanes but not under the sun to prevent any discolor. After two to three days, check the leaves if it is already crispy. Then, cook the leaves for about two to three minutes, then pound it until it turns into a until it turns into powder. And uh, gather 1,000 grams of Momordica charantia fruit, then wash it and cut it into very thin slices. Remove the seeds and place it on a tray. Expose it under the sun for about three to five days. After three to five days, depending on the weather, it must already be brittle. And then you can pound or grind it for about five to six times until it becomes a powdery substance. Okay, so now this time, Lance, okay, how about the RRL, okay? Can you cite at least one study or article from your RRL that supports your research? Uh, according to C2012, uh, malunggay leaves is the next big thing in the Philippines, making it a powerhouse of nutrients that can help various issues in farming and on health, meaning that the combination of ampalaya and malunggay leaves will be a study that can help farmers in their venture to provide a quality mango. Okay, and the last question we have here. What were the hardest and the easiest part you encountered in doing your SIP? The hardest part in doing a research is searching related topics that can support or somehow prove the composition of a certain material. Um, of course, it is also a need to be aware of, a, of, the cert, of the latest issues in our society just to provide an alternative. And the easiest part was using materials that are already and abundant in our society. Okay, thank you so much for that, Lance. Okay, you did a job well done in our SIPR science investigatory project. Okay.